Yo, 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 who's there? Who is there? Who is there? I see you. Somebody's here. Who is it? Oh, number two. Who is it? Who are you? Who is it? Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. 20 people. Chat. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Chilly, chilly. Me, 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 me. Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you something. It uh, froze overnight, eh? Uh, it's cold here, so look at this. Look at this, guys. Hey, Jay Wells, Jake, Ryan, Peter, Jim, Joseph, Chris, Chris Cornell! Hey, look at this, guys. My dahlia's got smoked like overnight look at look at how nasty these things are they just got smoked overnight it got down to like um i mean look at these look at these bushes right here let me turn this camera around look at that look how wilted those things are today it was um on sunday yesterday it's pretty cold, like 50, 45, 50. And then today it was 40, probably. Let's see if the phone shows. It says 35 degrees, that ain't right. 35, 50, so it says it's 50 degrees right now. But look at this, they are dead. Dead, 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 dead. They do not look good. Look how smoked this is right here. Just nasty. And it's too bad because they were beautiful yesterday. So, basically I just wanted to show you that. We had our first freeze last night. It was cold, 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 cold. Probably like 25 degrees. Ireland, yeah. Ryan says you love Ryan. Ryan's He's a sucker. He does not know what he's talking about. Mine are still in full bloom. Everyone here is a looky-loo. Who sprayed the guy on the flowers? High 80s. Oh no, the dahlias. Brat, you suck. I love you. Sad, but we need to go out in the razor. Too cold for dahlias, pal. Piss her off her. Winnipeg. Christian. Richard Christian. Oh, Michael Porter, Lawn Machine, Ryegrass is for sissies. Okay, DIY Lawn Dad. Sorry, I'm just reading these uh, comments. So, anyways, um, I was gone all last week in Lake Powell, and I came home to a mess in the lawn. It is disgustingly messy. I've got a lot of uh bleaching going on i don't know if you could tell from the the uh pictures here or the video uh ooh, what is that i wonder what that is right there that looks like thatch so i got lots of this kind of stuff going on see this bleaching that's bleaching from the tenacity that I put down. See how short the lawn is right there? You can tell right here. It's quite short. Last time I cut this, it was cut at 0.3 of one inch. So that would be about a third of an inch. And I came back about, no, it's not PRG. You guys need to suck it up and stop with the stupid prg crap you can see all of these spots here see all this this is all bleaching from the tenacity chris the yankees are going to win it all this year hopefully see all this damage the lawn looks like complete crap because of tenacity no, it's not ryegrass. It is likely Poa A, Poa P, or it's one of those, Poa A or Poa P. It could be ryegrass. I hope it is ryegrass. 
I hope the tenacity is smoking it. See that spot right there? That's a pretty weird looking spot. I don't know. So you guys are probably some of my favorite people. Um, hate to say that, but um, I like you guys. Um, you guys tune in all the time to watch my videos and stuff like that. I don't know. Bent grass, that will happen someday. See here, I did. I do have some uh, pansies here and some mums. Those can handle the frost. Oh, Ryan. You suck, Ryan. He pops his head in here and he's like, Hey guys, it's me. Come look at my channel. I got the ryegrass, which is sucky. Ryan, you can suck it, man. Okay, look at that. So the cottonwood trees are smoked. Say hello to Shesford. Shesford. Shesford Road. Shesford Road. Hello, guys. Ryan Nor is live. Ha! What free? Say hello to Sesford. Sesford Road. Um, later. See you, Lucas Hillier. Uh, who else we got in here? Cut those trees down. That is going to happen soon, fellas. Uh, here's some... Uh, this, I, I have to say. There's one thing I was going to say. So I've got this section here, which I did not kill. Then I've got this section over here that I did kill. And that section was cut at 0.3. This was cut at 5 8 inch. And I have to say, this section right here looks a lot better. I did not spray tenacity on this section. On this section here, I did spray tenacity. And, oh man, Brett, he's in here. He's mad for sure. Oh, Brett, you suck. The trees are going to come down soon enough. Seshford. Seshford Road. Honor your videos. Let's see. Do you flip your chainsaw bar and sharpen the chain? Yes, I flip the chainsaw bar. No, I do not sharpen the chain. I take my chains in to um, somebody else. Go Dodgers. No, thank you. We want Yankees. Um, over here. Dahlias are not annuals. Well, they can be annuals if you live in... They said they can be perennials if you live in the right climate. But I do not live in the right climate. Uh, my dahlias are dead there. Let's see what they look like in the back. And my white. What do you think, pal? Ben and I will be mowing the obviously better sissy grass when he is at my house. Oh, pfft. Okay. Oh, man. Look at that. So look at this, guys. Look how bad those got hit last night. They are looking terrible. All the leaves are wilted. So you guys were asking me if dahlias are annuals. In my climate, they're annuals, yes. So I have to dig them up. I will come through here in a week or two and dig up the roots they're called dahlia tubers and i will dig them up and i will store them for the winter and i will pull them out about february ish and start growing them again it's kind of like a year, almost a year-round thing to me so if you live in a climate that doesn't freeze you don't have to dig them up you would just cut them down and then they stay in the soil and then they'll come back next year so it was uh how terrible, how terrible, how terrible does the wind get there? Got to imagine that the wind comes off the mountains with some force, has to, has, has got to suck a little. <laughs> TKO in round four, Tony, you have no idea what you're talking about. Wow, lots of work. When you usually get your first snow. Roz, you're in here? Oh man, is there a chance it always looked like crap, but you're only seeing now because you're wearing glasses that that could be true yes super juice guys super juice super juice bubba you're done don't you do that bubba don't you ever do that again um dr netzel 
Dr. Natzel's in the house. Yes, I need more contacts. I'm, I'm out. So, obviously, you can see I'm wearing my glasses because I don't have any more contacts and I don't want to pay for the LASIK right now. So, you guys are always asking me about this thing right here. I am done with this project. It's been done for a month or so, maybe a little bit longer. And I'm trying to put the videos together of me showing it completed and how I completed it and all of that. I did um, put this flare here like that. It's, it, oh man, that was a seriously expensive project, fun project. Um, but anyways, so the plan, the plan now that this is done is right here. I need to bring that up and bring that uh, into grass down here. Over here, I gotta fix up something to do with this. That can't look like that. It can't wrap around. This section right here is super hard to mow, super hard to mow. So that's gotta get fixed. Need to bring this up right here. This elevation needs to be brought up. If you can see down the line right here, that's probably two inches down. Then this will all come up with soil and dirt and Dr. Netzel will hook you up with contacts. He won't either. He won't either. I called him and he said, I don't want to get busted. I don't want to get busted. I can't give you a prescription unless you come in the office. Oh, please. Um, see this here? This tree? These are evil cottonwood trees. They are the same cottonwood trees. What does that say? Will you plow that area when it snows? Uh, probably. 1-800 contacts. It's not the problem of me getting contacts, folks. It's the time it takes me to go to the doctor's office and get a prescription. That's the bull crap thing. My prescription never changes. But they want me to come in, pay 100 bucks or 150 bucks to pay for a stupid prescription, which is all fine and dandy. I don't mind paying. It's not a big deal. But they won't let you get a prescription and let they won't let you get contact unless you've got a prescription. So, I don't have time to go to the stupid doctor. So when I do get a prescription, I buy like $800 worth of contacts that last me like 10 years. So here's some more dahlias over here that got smoked. Bad, folks. Bad, bad, bad. I need to come through here in a couple weeks and clean all this up. You guys are some of my most favorite people ever. What else we got in here? Still mid-90s in Texas, Scotty Musgrave. That sucks. Blake from England, love you guys. I'm on the last pair, lawn stripes. Love you too. I love those little elephant plants that you got, the lawn stripes, mister. This section I cannot get to grow. This is gonna have to use a pro plugger. I'm gonna have to use a pro plugger to get this section to grow. I've seeded this about three times, cannot get it to go. So I'm gonna have to harvest some plugs from over here and put them here. Oh, demand to speak with a manager. Yeah, I really should, shouldn't I? Big Al! He's here? Where? I didn't see Big Al. Big Al, are you here? If you're here, raise your hand. Raise your hand, Al! If you're in here. You know, uh, Alan, he went fishing today. Wait, did he show up? I didn't see him. Al, if you're in here, raise your hand. Um, Alan went fishing with real low dad. Hey! Pal! My pal over there. See him? He's over there. What do we got here? Who's saying? What would cause nothing to grow there? I don't know. Maybe LCN? Where is he? Where is that Al? Did he raise his hand? I told him, Alan, if... Oh, he is here! Good boy, Al. Good boy. So that Alan is hanging out with real low dad today. And they're out fishing. He's sending me these pictures. He's like, oh, look at this fish. It's so much bigger than the one you caught. And I'm like, Pfft. mine's way bigger. Because uh, uh, Captain Gene and I are tight. That Captain Gene, he is one awesome captain. 
How many uh, freaking times? How many freaking times what, Al? Real Odeg threw up in the goal. <laughs> okay, guys. All right, I got to call it a day. I got to run to town to go and get some shirts. Oh, I was going to tell you guys, I got some kids shirts. So I came to, I had a revelation this past week. I went to Lake Powell. Awesome trip, by the way. Slot Canyon's nice, 95, 90 degree weather warm water. I went to like Powell and it was so fun. You guys got to shut up about the John Deere. It's going to come. Wait, show, show me the John Deere. The 1600 gets it. Okay. So I need to tell you something. So I came, had a revelation. I went to like Powell and I was with some friends and family, probably five families, all people my age. Okay. Kids ranging from teenage kids to about, oh, 16, 17, all the way down to about seven years old. Okay. Five families, 25 people there. And they say, uh, he is literally going to run. So they say to me, like, oh yeah, we watch your kid, we watch your videos. And all these kids are there. They're like, we love your videos. We love your videos. I'm like, really? Kids watch my freaking channel? So I had a couple of people contact me and say, why don't you have kids shirts, kids shirt sizes? So I actually did do a small run of the kids shirt sizes. I'm going to have a few of them. I'm going to town right now to pick them up. And so I decided to make some kid shirts because kids uh, apparently watch my channel and I was not aware of that. But I do love that um, Andy's Lawn Care Outdoors and Adventures. That's a channel you want to go watch. He's a kid. He's probably about 12, 13, 11, 12. Good kid. Good kid. He's got it going on, and he's really working on things. So I like that kid. LCN started this community. It's probably likely right. LCN, if you're listening and still in the chat, I need to tell you one thing. I love you. You are the greatest. Thank you for coming. And all you guys that watched that video of LCN and I, me, I was pushing him, pushing him, pushing him. And I was, um, I was, uh, I was laughing at him the whole time he was here, and uh, I was making jokes at his expense on the chairlift. I was making jokes at his expense on the side by sides, and I have to say he was a good sport for me to uh, be making fun of him constantly. Ryan, on the other hand, he was a sucker the whole time he was here, and he's like, "Oh, don't! That's dangerous! I don't want to do that." He's like this little kid on a, in the candy store. He's like, "Oh, can I have this, Daddy?" I'm like, "Okay, son, sure, you can have a little bit. No, no more for you. No more for you." And I was like, "No, no, 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 boy, you're not allowed." So yeah, Ryan's a sissy. So anyways, I gotta wrap it up because I gotta go to town. You guys are probably some of my favorite people. Um, Ryan, on the other hand, not so much because he's got the sissy ryegrass, but whatever. He's like, I'm going to wait. Con oh, yep, it's true, Al Alan. My prepaid minutes are about to, my prepaid day is about to run out. So I got to wrap this up and I love you guys so much and... Sorry, I haven't made a video, but I was gone for a week at Lake Powell. So, so, so fun. And I, I did get some footage of me talking about the lawn here. And you guys are probably pretty dang cool. So. Oh, our kids are watching you live and freaking out about the kids' shirts. Yep. If you want a shirt, email me because they're not going on the website because I don't have a lot. I've got only a few, not very many. You're going to have to email me. Just the, the email is in all of my video descriptions. Love you guys. Sheshford Road, you're awesome. I will see you in the next one. Out. <laughs>